I just put a couple of cubes of frozen Daphne in the water. So these guys are feeding. Thought I'd grab the phone real quick. You can see them out and about. Feeding away, they do like the Daphne. <clears throat> I freed a lot of frozen foods. And I did feed some flakes, but I ran out of a lot of flakes. I ran out of bug bites. So those came in the mail. I think like yesterday, I hadn't unboxed everything yet. So frozen Daphne this morning, which they do love. Um, these guys in the back, they have a baby back there too. And this little one over here, all by himself. Herself, probably up herself. I think she's little. And too much reflections. Uh, anyway, I always make sure the Daphne hits so she gets some so she can grow. Tardis. The section in the middle is the most active because he has a harem and the harem has multiple generations going on. So they're always really active in the middle and they have done some massive excavating. But he's, one of these has clearly jumped their fence because there's a baby over here too. She didn't make it by herself. I'm looking at you Casanova or it could have been this Casanova. I know I've watched, I've seen him go over here and wiggle around a little bit. So he may be expanding his harem of one to a harem of two. But he do, he and his gal, who's behind the rock, of course, probably because there's Daphne back there, have, have babies too. Anyway, these are my little Shelleys, Neolamprologus multifasciatus. I've made longer videos of them, and for whatever reason, YouTube hates me and will not upload them. So this one, I will actually stop rambling, shut up, let you see the chelis a little bit longer, and upload it. The cat in the background is Sherlock. He's a whiner. And no, he's not hungry, I just fed him. If I ever get the longer videos uploaded, this will be duplicate information. But it's a 33 long. It's a great footprint for any shell dweller. Just know you're not gonna put anything above it. It's too shallow. But if you're just doing species only shell dwellers, great tank. My LFS orders them, I can't get them anywhere else, but I've got like five from my LFS. Because I keep going in, they keep ordering me more. Anyway, this condo section in the middle is fun because there's dare varying sizes of fry and they're very active and all the little gravel bits on top they were not on top to start with they were on the bottom layer they just came up to the rim here and then I had sand all the way up the top they've excavated down through all of the sand moved that and now I excavated the gravel too and one of these days I'll get on video these little sh these little fish with a big wad of gravel in their mouth spitting it out somewhere else so don't worry, they're, not, they're in no danger. They did the excavation themselves. That gravel is all them. It was perfectly hidden underneath. Quite a big pile of sand. Like I said, gravel went to the limb, the rim here. And you can kind of see where the detritus would have been from probably about the first layer. So this was all sand up through here. And then, cause you can see over here where it hasn't been excavated as much. But right through here, condo land, they have excavated and excavated and excavated. They have made these shells their own. And it is a fun to watch. And hopefully I'll get it on video for y'all. Anyway, have an awesome day. Oh, there it is right there. Look at that one. See that? <laughs> That's my fishies. Okay. With that example of what I said about the gravel in the mouth, Okay, I was going to get off so I could upload this. All right, guys, have an awesome day. 
Oh, look at those guys sparring in the middle. They don't hurt each other. They just keep going mouthy back and forth. They're a hoot. I'm telling you, Neolamprologus multifasciatus. It is always a good idea. However, it is an educational caveat. 20 long would be the absolute smallest and you will ever run that. <laughs> okay, I could watch these guys for hours. I will stop at five minutes and change. Everybody have a wonderful day. Keep smiling, keep swimming. Keep doing what makes you happy. Take care.